Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I am very excited because I am introducing you a recipe of mine that I really really like. This is summer rolls, something that I enjoy making every month, at least two times a month. That is how typical I make it. Um, a lot of people ask me how to make this so I'm having this uh, video tutorial just to give you an insight of how I make it. The difference between how I make it and what you get in the restaurant is the sauce. And I'm going to show you exactly how to make the sauce. You will need 10 cloves of garlic. You need one lime. And make sure you chop the garlic into small pieces. You can say mince it. Mince it up like this. This size is perfect. It's good enough. And then you also need to cut up the lime. You will also need three cups of water, half a cup of fish sauce, three tablespoons of sugar, a pinch of chicken powder. Again, I put chicken powder in a lot of things, but you don't have to, you don't have it. That's it. That's all you need to make the fish sauce. Here's how you're going to make it. Turn on the stove to medium-high heat. Put some vegetable oil in it. Leave it for a few seconds before you add the garlic in. Once you put the garlic in, just keep on stirring. Keep on stirring until it is a little bit um, reddish. You don't want to overcook your garlic because the whole purpose of this is to make the sauce smells good. So not too much oil, but yet not to overcook the garlic. Once you smell the good aroma coming out from the garlic, you can add water. Then just add the half a cup of fish sauce in there. And three tablespoons of sugar. Stir it together. So these are the only four main ingredients up front. Stir them together thoroughly and then cover the pot. Leave it on until it boils. Now after it boils, taste it a little bit first. And if it's too salty, too sweet, you can add more ingredients. But my recipe is just perfect for that size. And last but not least, I add a little bit of chicken powder just to bring out some flavor. And that's it. Turn off the stove and leave it in a room temperature. Just keep it, like, make it cool a little bit. Not to the room temperature, but look warm is good enough. That is when you start adding in the lime. And again, keep on tasting it. If it's too sour, you don't want to put the whole lime. But again... Uh, my recipe, I, I do it so many times that one lime is perfect for three cups of water. And set it aside. This is all set. Sauce is done. Now we finished with the sauce. I can show you what else you need in summer roll. One of the ingredients you will need is the rice noodle. I only use two pieces of vermicelli uh, rice noodle. That's all you need, but make sure you soak it in the water for at least half an hour before you cook it. I just make it a lot softer and easier, um, faster to make. And how I did that is that I boil it in the hot water for only 7 minutes. Take it out, put it in the sink with cool water. Put some cool water in it and then strain it. Simple as that. And once it's cooled down like this, we can start making it using this. Now for the shrimp, I only use one pound of shrimp and one pound of pork belly. And that's enough for to make 15 summer rolls. And my summer roll is not small at all. When I say 15, I mean big 15 pieces that can fit the whole family of five appetizer. So for the pork, simply cook it for 30 minutes. And then set it aside. I cool it down and then I slice it up like this. And I use the exact same water that I just boiled my pork and put in the shrimp. Now again the shrimp, I never like my shrimp to be overcooked. So I cook exactly two minutes. 
you don't want to cook your shrimp more than three minutes really but I cook two minutes uh, take it out um, cool it down and then I peel it so that's all I have to do with the pork and shrimp um, that's that now for the vegetable very very important to wash your vegetable wash it wash it wash it I didn't show you how I wash it but I really really wash it when you eat fresh vegetable like this you want it to be clean or you're gonna get sick um, that is my number one rule I only use half a bunch of the letters um, any letters any one you want make sure it's the crispy one so I I only uh, put half a bunch in there that's how affordable it is it's very cheap to make this dish because you only need a little bit of everything but make sure your lettuce is this size you don't want your lettuce to be too big like some pieces I I have I had to cut it into half just because um, once the lettuce is too big it's hard to roll so you want it to be just this size so cut it in half this is important this means is everything um, it goes in and makes it smell so good but you don't need it the whole piece like that so what I'm gonna be doing is basically cut it and take only the leaves I'm only interested in good leaves too you know by the way I I grow my own uh, mint so I feel really good about it uh, it's so easy to grow and it's organic it's a lot healthier I'm a gardener cilantro is also very important beside the mince I always make sure I have cilantro that goes in there again it's for the great freshness smell it's it's really good so again you don't want all the stuff you don't need this it's too hot too chewy no point of it you want a good aroma right you only want the leaves the good ones so all I'm doing here is just um, pinch it take only the leaves the soft part of it Cucumber. Cucumber is very important. Freshness, crispiness, it goes so well with summer roll. You must have cucumber, but you only need one cucumber. Okay, so we have fresh vegetable, mince, cucumbers, um, noodle, and our meat and seafood. All gonna go into the roll. But what type of roll should we use? So this is what I use. Um, I use this rice paper to make my summer roll um, and I make sure I pick this brand it's called three ladies brand I find this brand to be the most durable one when you make summer roll you don't want something that um, that's easy to break so you want something that's tough okay so rice paper is important when you pick the right one this is about uh, three dollars per pack but you can make this like three four times um, which, which is not bad at all. It's good brand and very good. So I always use this brand to roll my summer roll. Right now I'm boiling some water. You want your water to be uh, more than just lukewarm. I like it a little bit, not boiling hot, but just leave it a few minutes after it boils and I can start putting the rice paper into the water and then start rolling. Okay, so while we're waiting for the water to boil, um, I have one more thing to show you that I forgot to show you earlier with the sauce. Um, it's optional, that's why I didn't really mention it, but if you like peanuts and carrots, I suggest you put it in. This is my garnish for my sauce. Some people don't like it and they don't use it, but me, I always have this that goes in with my sauce. Um, it's just crusted peanut. Roast it yourself is so much better than buying it. So roast it and then crush it into this piece. And for the carrot, just slice it like this. Okay, so my water is done. You see it's still like steaming because it's still hot. Uh, some people would cool it down all the way to look warm. But me, I like it still very warm. So I put it in literally only two seconds and I take it right out just because it's hot. And then as the temperature goes down, I change it accordingly and put it a little bit longer but never put your paper more than uh, 10 seconds that'd be too long okay so this is how you do it okay it's hot all right so literally two seconds I don't want to put longer than that because my water is still hot this is my first batch 
first thing you need is the noodle just put a good amount not too much because you're gonna make a lot you don't have to have too much in one okay and for the vegetable just one piece of cucumber is good enough and you will need some mint again as much as you want how much you like the mint I like to put a good bunch to it so all these mints in and now my vegetable I told you before you need like just one for each but make sure it's not too big of the size so it's not breaking the um, not breaking the paper now for the meat you only need about three to four slices of uh, pork that is about it and I am going to roll it a little bit and yes I know I haven't put the shrimp in yet the reason is because you want to put the shrimp last so then it shows like the beauty of it after you roll it it's outside it's not part of the inside that's blocking and you, you don't see the shrimp but shrimp is for the beauty of it you should put it last and that's it that's how you roll it up and it's small size I am making it a, a little bit small so I can probably make more than 15 but um, for now I'm gonna show you just one more how to make it this time I'm gonna try to make it faster and less talking it up when you roll it if you don't roll it tight enough it's gonna be loose it's not gonna be good okay tie it up tie it up make sure it's tight but not too tight that you're gonna break it you have to get used to it I roll this for like very often that how, how I know and estimate it so perfectly but some people will break it easily that's how it looks like I gave you earlier just perfect for this uh, size so now it's taste time I would add my garnish which is the uh, the crusted peanut just a little bit and I also put a little bit of carrots okay just for the aroma and color but if you like spicy like me I do I add uh, extra spicy sauce in there too which is sriracha in this case you can also use a uh, fresh chili I'm gonna try one right now. When you eat this type of sauce, you always want to have a spoon with you because um, it can get messy. Wow, I cannot believe my recipe actually works perfectly. I usually don't cook with recipe or like measurement but today because of the purpose of the video I actually came up with the exact recipe the number of um, water and fish sauce but it's actually perfect so I stick with that and you should go with that but what's so good about this summer roll is I think it's the shrimp I love seafood and the shrimp is really fresh so when you make summer rolls make sure you get fresh shrimps I only bought one pound it's about 30 shrimps and it has to be medium size if it's too small it's also not good um, I'm gonna try one more time. Mmm, so good. You gotta try it. That's it. That's it. I hope it was simple, easy, and um, try to make it. It's very budget friendly. I spent less than $20 to make this whole 15 rolls of uh, summer rolls. So when you get a chance, make it, make it yourself, make it fresh and try it. Let me know how it's like. Again, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you have not already. Uh, I am very excited for my next trip. I am going to travel soon, but for now uh, I'm making some food for you while you're waiting for my new videos coming up with the travel events and um, my journey in another country. 
All right, thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.